Sakshay and the other colleagues there, their colleagues. So when we started interaction, we really, you know, it was nice. We understood that how, how actually uh, they are talking about the data center, which will be so dynamic in terms of the loading pattern, which, which may have small loading server to the higher loading servers. So they are going to deploy best of the technologies to ensure that the data center is up and running always. So that one challenge was to handle the dynamic loading pattern. The other challenge was how do you monitor the data? How do you monitor the cooling temperature, humidity, airflow? And how do you control it from the cooling system? So it was not so easy for us even, Emerson being a leader in the industry. So we really walked back and we went to our engineering team, application engineering, which is also added by me there. So uh, we did simulation for data center after doing heat load calculation, taking out the drawing from WebEx. So we realized that this is how the pattern should be. This is how the layout should be. This is, should be the pattern of the cooling unit placement. And if the and one system going down, what will be the effect on the data center? How the airflow and the temperature profile will be? So there were various challenges which were really simulated based on that. Then the drawing was formed based on the final CFD analysis, the computational fluid dynamic analysis. Then of course, it was a, we, we are today everybody talking about how do we save every watt? How do we save energy in data center or anywhere, even in our house? So we were talking about, they were talking that what could be the best of the PV labels, the lowest power consumption. So best of the friendly, like user friendly or the environmental friendly gases. So we use Fort and a gas here, our Fort and a gas and uh, digital scroll technology, because like I spoke here, the dynamic changes on the load, on the heat dissipation. So this compressor is able to modulate the compressor capacity right from 10% to the 100%. So if you have deployed a 30 tons capacity system, that system can really go up to the down to the 20% of the capacity having two compressor in the system. So that is the kind of a modulation available on every cooling system deployed in WebEx. So the system is so dynamic that even if your load is compared to 20% of the capacity, the system is going to be withstand and going to the 100%. Loading pattern right from small loading racks to the higher loading racks with the containment. So it will handle that kind of a loading pattern with the dynamic capacity control and the airflow control with the EC fans. Here we uh, deploy the cold oil containment. Uh, the, it is deployed by uh, the Wayworks uh, here and for the, this cold oil containment, there is one of the unique, unique monitoring and control method which we have used here. The control method is in this particular data center, having multiple cooling units, all cooling units will be connected together so that they communicate, they share all the alarms, set points, failures. They are able to share what is the dynamic kind of a loading and when the, when the load is less, all the systems will go together down so that it saves max the maximum power. But at the same time, the challenge still remains that how do you monitor and control every server temperature and airflow? So that is something which is a new trend going on in the industry. So we deploy every cooling unit at the bottom of the cooling unit. There are supplier sensors. Those supplier sensors are controlling the supplier of the system, every cooling system. So irrespective of the heat coming to the server, it is able to modulate and give you the fixed supplier temperature. If you fix 20 or 22 or 18 or 19, whatever is the temperature you fix, system is going to dy dynamically operate and ensure you that temperature. So that is on the temperature side. In the cold aisle at top of the racks, so to ensure that the air is traveling up to the top of the racks, that various multiple places in the cold aisle top, we have deployed the temperature sensor which will be deployed there. So this temperature sensor will be actually connecting back to the cooling unit and it's a real time monitoring happening from the server level. What is the airflow going? What is the temperature going? And based on that systems will be operating, reducing and increasing the capacity. So this way you not only monitor, but you also ensure the control of the system. This gives you two, two important aspects here. One is that you save huge energy by deploying this kind of a method, which is approximately compared to a traditional approach and compared to this, this smart IL technique, which we call in Emerson, smart IL technique, this saves compared to a traditional about 33 to 35% power savings. The another important point is, which is from the customer point of view, the end user who deploys the servers there, this that it ensure you maximum of time. If the temperature rises in the cold aisles in front of the servers, the cooling capacity will be increased from the cooling units. And even the standby systems will be coming back. 
Every system is having redundant compressor. So even if one goes down the system, 50% always remain. And even if that goes down, the standby systems are provided. So you are rest assured with the reliability and the uptime of the system. Uh, in, in Emerson, we talk about the design pillars, flexibility. Of course, this system which we have deployed is designed based on these three parameters. So flexibility for the future requirements, the upgradation, scalability, manageability of the data center. So these are the four major components in the system. Digital scroll compressor for the capacity modulation, EC fan for the airflow monitoring, and a special type of humidifier. Again, irrespective of the water quality, whether it's a good water quality or bad, this humidifier will not have any effect on its capacity of generating the humidification. So it is efficient and lower maintenance. There is no electrode involved here. The monitoring side which I spoke, like if there are multiple, multiple, uh, multiple cooling units which are presented here, so these cooling units will be communicating to each other and ensuring all the alarms, set points, and the maximum of time and the power consumption. This is how the data center is deployed. There are various cooling units, cold aisle containment, and in top of the cold aisle containment, there will be those sensors which I just spoke a few, few slides back, and that will be communicating back. This is how the system operates. So cooling unit, the hot air comes back and it goes so at top of the server racks, you have the sensors which are monitoring actual live temperature and the airflow. So this is the key message to you that this is EMC feed data center and best of the power saving, capacity modulation and best of the system in terms of the compressor, humidifier and other things. So in turn, at the end, this gives you best of the PUE and best of the uptime. Thank you very much. If you have any question, I'm there. You can ask. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now I'd like to please call uh, Mr. Nikhil to give a uh, token of our appreciation. Thanks. Raghubi took yeah. some time out to actually come down. Yeah. So the next presenter of the day is by uh, Mr. Dharmendra from Eaton. Who will, tell, who will tell you about the advanced UPS solution implemented at our data center. Good evening, friends. Uh, last presentation, only 10 minutes more. I know it's a late evening time. It's tired time because it's a working day. And uh, being a Thursday, I will start uh, what I, I, I say I am the powerful man. When I say powerful man, it's not my muscle which is powerful. It is my UPS. It's an Eaton brand of UPS, which has been used by uh, Mr. Uh, Webwork. And let me start with my uh, presentation here. I talk about uh, 22 billion company. It's a US-based company. Uh, we have uh, more than one like uh, employee, 175 different countries across globe. So it's a, it's a global company. Uh, we, we have so many regional offices. I, I can tell you about uh, uh, India presence. Uh, in India, we have more than 95 uh, locations present. We don't have our direct offices. We have so many partners available who can, who can cater my business very smoothly. So we have 95 locations, uh, our direct presence across India. Now, I can talk about WebWorks journey. This journey started almost six years back. WebWork is so smart client. Trust me, the kind of expectation which they have raised six years back, I have not seen any of the data center people talking about this kind of power solution. They were so smart, you, you, you can see their challenges. The, the expectation with which they have come to us was so many. Some of them is uh, mentioned here, but I know there were, there were so many, so many expectations which was uh, set in front of us. And we said, okay, let us, let us uh, find it out how best we can give them solution so that they can have better power quality, they can save their energy bill, because in data center, the major hurdle is electricity bill. Trust me, it's electricity bill who kills each and every data center. So uh, uh, my, my, uh, my client has got so many, so many uh, things expected out of me. And then we said, okay, let me design my power solution. We have gone beyond it. And one day, the good thing has happened, ki my client himself has found the solution. He was roaming around somewhere in London and, and, and looking at some of the data center in London. And he find that, yes, this is what I'm looking at. And, and you, know, you know what? It was not the Eaton, Eaton product which he was looking at. He was looking the power solution equipment, 
which can give him n plus one kind of redundancy internally in the equipment. And for entire UPS thing, he wanted n plus n external redundancy. That is what is the expectation of my client. And they themselves have found the solution at somewhere in London. I don't know which, which, which uh, was that uh, customer. And I don't want to take it uh, that. What we have started, we have given two unit of us, which can meet his expectation. Six years back, we have not even come up with that product in India. It was available somewhere in US, UK, China, and other market. We were, we were not at all available in India. My client has demanded, boss, I need the unit which is installed in so-and-so customer, which has been also catered to Facebook. So different data center of Facebook is using uh, my power solution, right? Webwork has decided six years back, I need the same. We said done. And, and, and that's how six-year-old relation is started with, with web work. And, and we have come up with the solution, which are modular, inside unit. If you connect so many unit, all unit will become like a modular single unit. So that's an that's a advantage of uh, uh, the solution, which my client himself has uh, realized. They themselves have come up with solution. So my India team need not have to do much thing. But it's the, just a transaction, just a supply to their so many data center. As of now, we are catering almost all data center uh, with web work. And trust me, 98% efficiency six years back, nobody, at least in power solution equipment, were talking about 98% efficiency. We were having. So we, we, we had given them solution. This is, this is uh, the skeleton of uh, my unit. How, how does it give? It is a similar concept of red boxes, if you know, in a, in a storage area. Right, because majority of people, I think, are from IT industry. So you, you know Redbox, you know uh, how does it goes. And then you can just see the look of the unit, which we have provided as the solution. Inside, there are so many things. And then I just wanted to highlight my, some of the client who are there and whom we are catering. Facebook, I have not mentioned purposely, because people always talk about social medias and whatnot. I said, let me let me pronounce the name of Facebook because majority of people knows what is Facebook all about. And all the data center of Facebook, I can proudly say, is, yes, it is powered by me. Uh, with this, I will, I will finish it off uh, my presentation so that people need not have to wait for Eaton, at least. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for your patience. Thank you, Mr. Dharmendra. Now, there's a small token of appreciation from our side. Um, today, we would like to uh, invite you all for a new partner program. Uh, we are launching an, uh, um, an open platform where we want all your people's help. Uh, we'll show you a video, then we'll come back. Internet First is the CSR initiative from WebWorks where uh, rather than just complaining that our internet speed is not good, our networks are not good, we wanted to uh, crowdsource and we wanted to bring more people inside and we wanted to make a difference. So here, uh, what we are trying to do is that we wanted to educate the people on the need of a higher internet speeds on a better ne efficiency network and we also wanted to partner with any organizations who will be able to help us in order to make it happen. So in order to discuss more, you could uh, catch us, any one of us over here. Yeah, we're in between uh, you guys and dinner, actually. So we want to wrap this up as quickly as possible. Um, Internet First is our CSR uh, you know, initiative, which we're taken up. Uh, this is where we actually get ISPs and uh, end users and partners and everybody else together, uh, where we can drive down the cost of the in uh, general internet, as well as try to make a change uh, make sure there's net neutrality, make sure there's um, all kinds of uh, people get together. Uh, ISPs can get together, they can peer. Uh, we've also brought in, uh, you know, four, uh, four out of 13 root servers into India to make sure that the speed changes. Uh, Google